Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at his residence in Istanbul Turkish Prime Minister bin Ali Yildirim. His Majesty the King hailed the distinguished level of the deep-rooted bilateral relations between Bahrain and Turkey, including joint cooperation and the exchange of visits among officials in both countries. He stressed that Bahrain looks forward to further increasing cooperation with Turkey in the fields of economy, trade, investment and culture in order to benefit both countries. He also emphasized the importance of official visits to Turkey, praising in this regard the fruitful outcome of his successful visit, which resulted in the signing of a number of agreements and memoranda of understanding that will positively contribute to boosting joint cooperation in various areas and increasing the volume of trade and economic exchange for the benefit of the two countries and their people. His Majesty the King praised the important and influential role assumed by Turkey on regional and international levels and underlined its civilized achievements which he said placed Turkey amongst advanced nations. He thanked the Turkish president and his government for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to him during his visit. For his part, the Prime Minister welcomed the visit of His Majesty the King to Turkey, saying that his country looks forward to ensuring the outcome of the visit contributes to his further strength and the relations between the two countries and stressed that the security of Bahrain is part of Turkey's security, thanking His Majesty's honourable stance in supporting of Turkey. The Turkish Premier highlight, highly valued the efforts and keenness of His Majesty the King to further upgrade joint cooperation between Bahrain and Turkey, hailing the development and progress of Bahrain and the many achievements under the leadership of His Majesty the King in various sectors. The meeting also reviewed latest regional and international developments and other issues of joint interest. The meeting was attended by the delegation accompanying His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudebiya Palace a number of royal family members, media, business and intellectual figures, along with senior officials and scores of citizens, led by Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness praised the achievements made by Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and stressed that regional and international praise affirms Bahrain's contributions in various fields, adding that implementing His Majesty's directive and serving the country and its people is a top priority. He discussed with the attendees topics of national concern and praised the role of media, opinion writers and columnists and their contributions to benefit the country. He stressed the need for more awareness against attempts threatening the kingdom's stability and expressed appreciation for Bahrain's firm stances, praising the country's strength and cohesion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the role of the Representatives Council and their cooperation with the government to increase national achievements and contribute to National March in cooperation with the executive and legislative authorities. He also praised the role of the National Foundation for Human Rights in responding to attempts threatening human rights achievements in Bahrain. His Royal Highness stressed a keenness to provide the best services for the people of Bahrain, praising the achievements made by GCC countries for their people in order to provide them with high living standards. His Royal Highness called on all Arab countries to overcome all di differences between them in order to prioritize Arab interests and serve its main issues. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Al Qudaybiyah Palace today the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, in the presence of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness commended the role of Sheikh Abdullah as the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and highlighted his significant contributions to the National March. For his part, Sheikh Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support to the Council, stressing that the support has contributed to the development of the Council since its establishment.
first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs and President of the Bahrain Olympics Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa after Bahraini champion Ruth Jebet smashed the world record in the women's 3,000-meter steeplechase by more than six seconds at the Paris Diamond League meeting yesterday. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the teams of all Bahraini youth centers and clubs, attributing the international accomplishment to the leadership's support and the care of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad to more than 32 youth centers and club teams, which helped boost Bahrain's position on the world map of sports. He described this achievement as a new recognition of Bahrain's international position in athletics among advanced nations. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also praised Jebet's outstanding performance at the Paris Diamond League meeting and achieving this new world record. Ruth Jebet clocking eight minutes, 52.78 seconds. The previous record of 8 minutes 58.81 seconds was set by Russian Gulnara Golkina at the Beijing Olympics eight years ago. Earlier this month, Jebet won Olympics gold in Rio with 8 minutes 59.75 seconds, the second fastest time ever in the event. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain's Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, affirmed today that the launch of His Highness's first league for the disabled is considered a big achievement in disabled athletics under the theme Generation Forum. His Highness said the directions to hold the league come under the instructions of the wise leadership, which has always been keen to support people with special needs, as they are an inseparable part of the community. He stated what the first preliminary league witnessed indicates the huge success of the organizing committee in attracting disabled teams, which creates special gatherings and a competitive environment for the group. His Highness commended the efforts of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports under its chairman Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jadar and pointed out its prominent role which helped the league succeed. His Highness Sheikh Khalid also affirmed that the team's commitment to the instructions of the organizers gives an indication of responsibility and pointed out that the participation of this league is a source of pride as disabled athletes are part of the athletic youth sector in the kingdom and their participation is considered a perfect opportunity to discover more talents and incorporate them into clubs and national teams. He expressed his admiration of the performances of the preliminary league. He commended the significant role of the sponsors and the Bahrain Disabled Sports Federation in embracing this group through various programs. He expressed his pride in the effective participation of the Kingdom's youth and the number of teams which has reached 32. He also congratulated the teams that have made it to the second term and highlighted that every team that has taken part in this league is a winner. His Highness confirmed that local media plays a vital role in enriching His Highness's fourth youth centre and disa first disabled league. He hailed the role and efforts of sponsors and committees in contributing to the success of the event, which reflects the continuous development of the league. A number of governors and municipal council members attended a workshop organized by the Supreme Council of Health this morning as part of the council's communication plan to inform the public on the proposed national social insurance system, Sehati. More details in this report with Mohammed Al Shaban. The Supreme Council of Health held an introductory workshop this morning for a number of governors and municipal council members to brief them on the planned national social health insurance system, Sahati. The system aims to revamp the quality of health services in Bahrain in line with the kingdom's overall objectives of sustainable development. And now it's time to hand you over to Mohammed with the latest in business news. Good evening, Mohammed. Good evening, Michael.
A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,139.34 points, falling 7.03 below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors trading mainly in the commercial banks with 69% of total shares. 44 transactions included 1,609,237 shares, or 351,377 BD.